Lucinda. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be making garlic rosemary potatoes with garlic rosemary chicken. I'm going to roast the potatoes. The first thing you're going to do is peel and cut up your potatoes. Then I'm going to drain it and put it in with my marinade. Into the bowl, the potatoes go. The next thing to go in is the marinade. It consists of lemon juice, lemon zest, garlic powder, garlic, salt, pepper, and rosemary. The ingredients will be in the description with the recipe. So you just going to dump it in and we'll mix it up. Now we're going to mix it up. Of course there's garlic in here. I'm adding it to the pan now. I might need some more rosemary on the potatoes because I like the flavor of rosemary and the garlic's already in. Yeah, I'm sprinkling some more on there because it's fresh. I like fresh. Fresh food is the best. Make sure we get enough on there. I got plenty of rosemary over here. We're saving some for the chicken now. Now we're going to do the same thing with the chicken. Add the chicken breast, which is boneless skinless, to the bowl. Now we're going to get the marinade and add that. I'm adding the marinade and then I'll be mixing it in. I get my tongs, that way I'm not handling it. And just make sure the marinade goes on everything. You gotta have it on all the pieces. Just keep mixing it in. I got the marinade on the chicken. I'm gonna be cooking the potatoes for a half hour first. That way, when I put this on, it'll be done. I'm going to keep turning this over in the marinade while the potatoes are in. I did add more garlic powder and black pepper to the potatoes. Now all I got to do is wait for the oven to preheat. Now bake the potatoes for 45 minutes, then add the chicken on top and cook for at least 30 minutes or until done. I just mixed the potatoes. Now I'm going to add the chicken on top of it. And cook it 30 minutes more. I hope all these breasts fit in here. Let me see if I can get the last one in here. And I'm going to make sure I got some of this rosemary on the chicken. I don't want to waste this marinade. Let me get my spatula and clean the bowl. I don't want to waste the marinade because it is good marinade. So I put some of that on top. Gotta get all the garlic in there because we don't want to waste the garlic and the rosemary. Spread out the rosemary on top. There we go. Now I'm going to add a little water to the pan. So it don't burn the pan. Just a smidgen. Just a smidgen. Now we're going to put it back in the oven. And cook it for a half an hour. Baking the chicken at 350. Now I took it out. Now I'm going to flip it over. Now since the chicken is flipped, I'll put it back in the oven. I'm putting foil on it 
for another 15 minutes. I had put the foil on to steam it. Now I'm going to check the potatoes to make sure they're done too. I know the chicken is done for sure because I cut it in half a while ago and that piece wasn't quite done so I put it back in for a little bit. That's one way to make sure. Now I take the chicken off. Yep, it's nice and tender. Nice and tender. Now I'll check on the potatoes. I'll stir them up a bit. They might need to be cooked a little bit longer. The chicken's done, but I'll put the taters back in. This time I won't have the foil on them. I took out some of the juice, now I'm going to put the taters back in. This is what the chicken looks like when it's done. The potatoes are still cooking. This is what the potatoes look like when it's cooked. I'll plate it up for you. This is what it looks like finished. If you like my videos, please like, share, and subscribe. The recipes along with social media links are in the description. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.